the basic feeling of it is almost like you're, you're gliding or flying Nelly. It's just such a strange sensation to stand on top of water and be able to glide across it. I think that that's the first thing that hooks you and um, that, I don't know, that never really gets old either. And then you, you sort of just go from there trying to obviously progress through turns, get barreled, all the things that you can do within surfing. But yeah, that, that feeling of just gliding across water, which obviously it's, it's pretty unique. Humans don't, can't just do that. So it's pretty cool when you can, you feel like you first figure it out. You never know what to expect. You're sitting out the back and you, you don't know what your next wave is going to look like. And, and you, just, you just have that canvas to, to work and to create your own line and that freedom to, to express yourself and to be surrounded by nature. It's, it's cool. It's never going to be the same thing over and and over, so you can choose to, to ride the waves in so many different ways. Um, and it's open to your expression, yeah. So it's a thrill and it's art at the same time. <laughs> I've got to peel these stickers off. <laughs> Fernando stickers. I have one more towel here, if you want. You want to put a towel there, maybe? It'll probably be fine, I think. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. for sure. El Paraíso. Hey, we found it. We found the paradise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. we're here. Right. This place is sick. It's cool, yeah. It's so cool. There's a left here. What's the left? <laughs> oh, a little left here? <laughs> ramps, left ramps here. No way, I'm low. <laughs> oh, even now. Uh, there's just a lot of swell around. In the, like in the ocean, they've got lots of waves. Um, it's really warm, the water is super warm, the people are super friendly here, the food's really good. I grew up near the beach and used to walk to the beach every day and go through a little trail in the nature, like go past the dunes and kind of has a similar vibe here where you walk into the beach and it's, it's full of nature, full of trees and you just just walking there, walking over the rocks to, to get into the surf and it's just that same feeling comes when, when you're doing that and it's like you're you're connecting.
I am from the Gold Coast, Australia. Burley Heads in particular. Burley's a really good point break on its day. Um, yeah, it's kind of like lined with smooth, like black volcanic rocks, um, and then really good sandbars form out off the point, which um, creates the, the wave. As long as I can remember, I've always been surfing. It's pretty easy to get into it on the Gold Coast. It's nice and warm. There's plenty of friendly waves around for a little kid. So yeah, I was, I don't know, I was hooked from a young age, like Maddie, and um, really look back since. It's all I've done, and it's what occupies a lot of my time. Travelling, I think it's really important to have an open mind and an acceptance for the different ways of life that people lead around the world. Um, you know, especially in countries that adhere to different religions and cultures and, and are, you know, vastly different to like places where I come from. It's important to take the time to kind of learn what it's all about and respect their values and just have an overall sensitivity for the, the culture of the place and, and to try to get to know it a little bit. Um, and I suppose, yeah, just to try and help out where you can, not, not leave too much of a destructive footprint where you go. We bought three, three strangers to the fish market. <laughs> We're learning a lot today. Para comprar un pescado grande. Hay aquí, ¿no? pero así fresco. Sí, fresco. Ah, ok. Gracias. That's a huge <laughs> Good team. Sharp team. Yeah. I mean, boys are hungry. Been lots of surfing the last couple of days. <laughs> Three of them. You know, my parents always used to say, travel is the best education you're going to get. So I feel like we're always learning a lot on the road and not much changes when you go back at home. Um, yeah, I love just seeing different cultures and just seeing the different ways people live. And what you thought was normal is so different to somebody else. I feel super lucky to have grown up in South Africa. There's so many waves along our coastline and um, it's really uncrowded too. There's not too many surfers around, so you can always find a wave by yourself. And yeah, I'm lucky to have come from a family who enjoyed surfing and uh, they're just a very outdoors sporty family so my brothers are always pushing me to um, whatever sports they tried I would follow and copy them that's actually how I got into surfing um, both my older brothers started surfing first and then yeah I just followed what they were doing and I really fell in love with surfing and uh, wanted to pursue it and make a career of it like from a young age I knew that's what I wanted to do when I grow up it's the only thing I can picture myself doing.
most of the people stay at Las Flores, which is the next wave. Is that a good wave as well? Yeah. It's good. Huh? It's good. A little more more easy than Punta Mango. Yeah. But then it's like they take the boat to Punta Mango on some of the days. Oh, you can get a boat there. To, yeah. But it's better to stay at Punta Mango, I think. For us, the wave's better. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was amazing. Really? Yeah, it's sick. And it's what, six hours from here or four hours? Four hours. Four hours. It's like, if you go straight, it's like three hours, but usually you have one stop. But, but it's nice. It's worth going there. It's good. Is it kind of similar to Puente Roca? The wave is. Oh, it is? Yeah. So good yeah, it's good. It's nice there. It's more... It's like more wild, like just the just the hotel, like near the beach, and oh, you, just, okay. you walk to the wave. And Many people surfing? No, it's mellow. One day it had some people, but like super mellow. Oh, yeah. Mellow crowd. I am from Florianópolis, Brazil. It's an island in South Brazil, and. It's good to grow up in an island, it's a small city, everyone kind of knows each other. We used to play outside a lot and a lot of nature around, so it's good to grow up in a place like that and, and to be involved with nature and to people that think the same way as you and just, just a friendly environment and simple, simple life, but the best one. I didn't start surfing until a little late. I started at 11 and I used to love playing football before that, but, but then surfing started coming slowly and I started to get into it. And I think around like late 12, 13 is when I fell in love with surfing. I, that's all I wanted to do. And I went to surf all day and spend as much time as I could in the water. And, and yeah, I just, I just loved it. Father must kill, there's a seed in the charm. Never sleep, never rise. Out of my feet, there's a road to walk. Dirt. Covers my chest, never right. Behind my fears, there's a face. Behind my fears, there's a face.
company while you're on this mission while you're looking for your goals and to achieve what you want to achieve it's, it's really nice and to be surrounded by the right people people that motivate you people that make you feel good that's that's really going to help you and I think the mental part is really important so if you're feeling good and you're feeling comfortable you're going to perform a lot better so and life is going to be better all around, so the company is really important. Um, yeah, surfing is like a selfish sport in the regards to you trying to catch your wave, but then you're trying to share it with your friends at the same time, like the surf sessions. So it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going, I had something in my head. And, yeah, like. Don't drop in on my wave, but I'd love you to be there in the water with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fuck this wave, but you Watch can me get down. <laughs> but next yeah. wave's mine. Be happy for me. I'll be happy for you. Just there don't you go on my wave. <laughs> I won't fuck you up. We share a lineup, not a wave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you get stoked when you see your friends get good waves and yeah, vice versa. It's cool. Uh,